Coming up in this FinCast, what to do when your plants outgrow your tank. I like Chemipro because it raises lower pH and it buffers it. And what I've used it several, several times is set it up new aquariums. Well, because in a new aquarium, right, things are unstable. And what I like about it is it really helps acclimate the process so that you can get your reef tank off and go into a good start. Hey everybody, John here for FinCasters. I'm here in my office tonight. Behind me is my office tank. It's got everything in it from discus to shell dwellers to glowfish. Probably it shouldn't work, but uh, all the fish seem to come together, they get along very well, and, and it does very well. What I want to talk about tonight is my planted tank, which has grown very, very well. In fact, so much so that the plants are now no longer in the places they're supposed to be. Here's the aquarium before. Got a nice piece of driftwood with Anubius there. The idea is going to be to move that over to this corner and then allow the lotus plant to take over that corner and do away with all this dead space down here. This is all of the crypts that I've already taken out. Just a ton of it. Just too much in the tank. Pretty much at a stopping point for the night. I've moved the Anubius tree over there, cleared out some of the middle area, released the lotus plant which is already taking up space and doing great. Okay, so there's the tank two weeks after the re-aquascaping. I think it looks really good. The uh, Anubius tree that I call it, which is the Anubius growing on the driftwood, has come out really well. The fish are happy. The tank seems more open. On the right hand side, the big plant with the broad leaves that look like lily pads there is called a lotus, and it's doing much better. It's starting to fill in. Taking a closer look here, you can see there's actually a piece of driftwood in there that's covered with java fern. In the previous setup, that had become so crowded you couldn't even see that that piece of driftwood existed. Got a couple of stem plants going there, and they're growing really fast. You see the bubbles coming up in the background. The CO2 is going well. I don't like that diffuser. i got to replace that. This Anubius here had kind of taken on a life of its own. It's looking beautiful. I did move this uh, big um, sword plant in the back. You can see where the snails have taken over the leaves that didn't like it being transplanted, but I'm getting lots of new growth down below. I don't know if you can see it there. This is what's left of my crypt jungle. That still looks good. Probably the coolest thing in the whole tank are the roots, the rhizomes coming down off of the Anubius. Look how cool that looks. I love it. And then I've got what I believe is an African fern over here on the far left hand side. It's filling in nicely. It's actually attached itself to the glass and the fish are all doing really well, really happy. I really am pleased with where I'm going with this tank. So what do you think about my re-aquascaping? Does it look pretty good? There's a theory out there that I kind of subscribe to that less is more. Do you agree with that or do you think the more plants you can have in there the better? Do you like that sort of jungle look? Also, by the way, you may have noticed those beautiful new six electric blue Acaras. I just acquired those. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've been doing some research on those, and those will be the topic of my next FinCast. So very, very clear water clarity. Um, I've enjoyed it simply because of the fact that it's really easy to use. You can put it essentially anywhere in your reef setup and system, and it's ready to go.